Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakar Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is, uh, let brotherly love continue. And this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 1. In verse 13, uh, right, verse 13, uh, in the book of Hebrews, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, Let brotherly love continue, right? Because we let brotherly love continue. You know, as long as we constantly, consistently let brotherly love continue to the best of our ability, you know, and continue to like learn from one another, love one another as much as possible. Now, even though, you know, you might have a lot of brothers, you know, our spirits might be different, you know, you might have brothers that like to go out to have a good time after we, you know, done. Like, for example, like we, you know, uh, do our sit down lessons, you know, fellowship, doing the work of the Lord. At the end of the day, you know, we might go out, have a good time, you know, you know, get a few drinks or whatever for about a, about a couple of about a couple of hours or two, you know, being circumspect, you know, having the right frame of mind having that ply, that wisdom, knowledge, and everything, and, and et cetera, you know. And because, you know, you got a lot of brothers, our spirits might be kind of different. Because, you know, that's the beautiful thing about this uh, brother, you know, this brotherly love, and it's, uh, you know, being one body in Yahweh Shai, you know. You know, a lot of our uh, spirits might be different from one another. You know, you know, we... Uh, you know, you know, we learn from one another. That's why, you know, that's why we are one body, you know. Because even though brothers might have different experience or different personalities, one brother might be laid back, one brother might be outgoing, you know. But, you know, we got respect for one another. And that's the beautiful thing that the Heavenly Father set up. And the Heavenly Father loves that even though we might have our differences, you know, from a positive standpoint, you know, we might have our differences, uh, different walks of life, different uh, lifestyles, you know, different spirits, uh, whatever, you know, some brothers might be laid back, you know, some brothers might be outgoing, you know, know how to communicate with people, you know, one brother, this love being around the brotherhood, one brother know how to be a good mechanic, one brother might know about technology, you know, one brother might be, uh, uh, you know, make a lot of people laugh, but, you know, that's the good thing about this body, you know, because we are one body, you know, when we all come together, you know, we have that one body, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, and the Wadi al Bashim al for giving us, giving us this uh, brotherly love, you know. Because a lot of us that came before coming into this truth, we have that 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 brotherly love, you know, uh, from uh, somebody that's outside the truth, you know, somebody uh, an outsider, you know. Sometimes we be like that with our own family members as well too. But you know, this is a beautiful thing of a, a brotherly love that a lot of us might not have true love and respect for one another. You know, we might have not had not this before, you know, in our lives before coming into the truth. You know, that's why it's a beautiful thing that Yahweh Shemel Shah let us have this brotherly love for one another, love one another, and, you know, respect one another, you know, and correcting each other, 
even if it's a rebuke, you know, because it's a for correction, you know, for correcting our, uh, for, you know, for correction, you know. That's why it's, it's good to have brotherly love, you know, help a brother out if he need it, you know. The uh, charitable towards one another, loving one another, you know, helping, helping brothers out on certain things, you know. So that's why Yahweh 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 Shai, you know. They love us to be in that spirit of brotherly love, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. Even though we might have our ups and downs, but we, you know, we we settled it out, you know. You know, speak the things out, you know. And then, you know, we, we move on, hey, and let the brotherly love continue, you know. And may Yahweh Bashim outside constantly let us continually in the brotherly love, you know, and let us have that good spirit and that right frame of uh, stability, a right frame of mind, and let us continue in brotherly love, you know, even through the ups and downs, you know, <coughs> of what we might go through as a, as a one body in the uh, brotherhood, you know, but at the end of the day, we still going to be that one body, you know. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gonna make sure we're gonna intact to stay in that one body, you know. So it's a beautiful thing to have that one body, you know, one body in Yahweh Shai, you know, this one body in this brotherhood, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. And this is the. Uh, scripture that I'm gonna close it out so you know I just it was through the spirit you know since you know and you know in our uh, camps and stuff like that you know been the past few weeks and, you know we had a, a meeting in regards to the, the brotherhood and I believe the elders you know they came out with a video uh, it was yesterday you know was mentioning you know you know uh, the brotherly love Loving your brother, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, constantly continue to have that brotherly love, you know. And this has been on the spirit of uh, about brotherly love, you know, constantly, continually have the uh, brotherly love to the best of our ability, you know. And this is the book of First Peter, chapter three, verse eight. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion on one another. Love as brothers, be pitiful and be courteous, right? As long as we have that uh, consistently to the best of our ability, uh, you know, we be of one mind, you know, one body of Yahweh Shai, you know, one mind and one body in the brotherhood to the best of our ability, and continue to love one another, continue to have uh, compassion on one another, continue to uh, love one another, continue to. Uh, Uh, continue to have that that love for one another, that respect for one another, being courteous, courteous to courteous to one another, uh, having that love and, and the brethren be pitiful. I mean, you know, be pity, pity, pity for. I meant to say slacky words was kind of slip of the tongue. You know, have that love and, and compassion, be courteous and, and love one another. And you know, and that in the brotherhood it's is definitely the most important thing to have, you know, especially in the times that we're we're entering into. Cause like the old saying, we all we got, you know, especially when uh Jacob's trouble hit, you know, in the uh, in the times that we're coming into because you know, you're not gonna find this this one body love one body and you have a shy love, you know, from you know, out, outside of this truth, you know, you're not gonna have that much love, you know, you're not gonna have that much uh, respect, you're not gonna have that much courtesy and, and being polite and pleasant towards one another and being courtesy, being compassionate and brotherly love towards one another. You know, you're not gonna have that from an out, outside, uh, you know, you're not gonna have that from an outside world, outside this truth, you know. So it's definitely, most important having that uh, brotherly love, you know, that one body and you have a shot to the best of our ability, you know.
And so with that, uh, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, shalom in the bubble ball.